Hey guys, Happy Gamba here, and uh, today I thought I'd start a new series. I've been thinking about doing this for a while, um, but I'll start it today. Um, and and the series is going to be called Advanced Scenery Designed by Explain. Um, and I thought uh, there's a lot of, of videos. Uh, a guy called Jan Vogel, he's done uh, quite a few videos on creating uh, sceneries for the scenery gateway. Um, which, uh, you know, you can do some pretty good sceneries and, and they can be fairly good quality and, and you really need to, uh, you know, it's really, really nice to have people who do them. Um, but there aren't really any videos out there on how to do any advanced sceneries. Um, there's a couple of developers who live stream here and there, but it can be difficult to find, it can be difficult to find any actual tips on to how to, uh, to do kind of advanced scenery stuff. Now, this might be uh, quite boring for you guys who usually just watch my helicopter videos um, but I thought I'd do this anyways and then uh, this would be kind of an uh, addition to uh, what I usually create I'll still do the helicopter videos but people who want to uh, to get into some of the advanced scenery stuff they can uh, hopefully get some tips from uh, from the series so today we're going to be looking at uh, a tool but explain called WMS to PLL um, and, uh, and this is basically converting author photos into polygon files that you can uh, that is automatically placed down in Xplane. Now, uh, WMS is Web Map Service, and uh, it's basically a kind of server that um, stores and keeps information about uh, pictures or ortho photos in a couple of different file formats, uh, usually JPEG files. Um, now, uh, I haven't messed too much about with finding my own servers uh, to use, uh, but when you get the, the tool, you'll get the uh, wms to pyy uh, which is a Python file, and then the INI file. Now, when you open the, oh, sorry, when you open the INI file, um, let's just get the right one. When you open the INI file, um, It'll have a bunch of servers in here. You can see there's a bunch of Spain servers. There's one US server, which is a pretty good one, uh, which is one we're going to be using today. Got some some different servers, and um, yeah, so so I haven't messed around with adding my own ones because uh, the only one I've really needed to use was the US server here. <laughs> it can also be right, really difficult to uh, to find your own servers, so it's it's I've I've looked a bit to see if there were any better ones for the US, but I have one wasn't able to find any so uh, kind of gave up on that all right so um so we'll try to to uh, to get some downloads going here and get this downloaded now this line up here I've added myself um it doesn't do anything this just means I can copy paste uh, what I need to write um, but basically, uh, this is what you're going to put in the command prompt when you need to try to initialize the program. Um, these two arrows, and then Python space wms to pol dot pi, which is the uh, Python file. Then I've used uh, dash dash dds only. That's going to make sure that it's uh, using dds files. And uh, and what's that? What that does is it makes the compression uh pre-done so if you do it with png files if you have a lot of them in there you're going to get stutters you need a whole lot of micro stutters because the simulator has to decompress or, or has to compress the files uh, as it goes so that's going to add quite a bit of lag so we're going to be using dds files uh, which is uh, uh, preferred and, and def definitely uh, what xplain uh, likes 19, that's zoom level 19, that uh, corresponds to about 30 centimeters per pixel. And uh, and then the KML file for the area that we're going to be uh, creating. Now the airport we're going to be doing is Saiku, or Se Seq, um, and, oh I've spelled it wrong up here. Um, but this is a, a, a regional, uh, or small airport in the northwest of the US, Washington, just south of uh, Vancouver Island. And uh, and the small area that we're going to be creating today is um, this uh, line going around here. Uh, so in Google Earth, I've created a new polygon file with a polygon tool, uh, gone on the coastline, gone in and, and added this, and then 
it's now created it here. I right click on that and say save place else and then you can save it as a KML file, name it whatever you want. Make sure there's uh, no spaces in it. It won't work if there's any spaces in it. That's basically, that's what I've uh, created and what's in here. So when we run this program, uh, it's going to be the coverage area, uh, CQ, that it's going to be getting the data of where to download from. Uh, or what area to download. So I'm going to copy that. Uh, I'll try and put that in the description. Now, to actually run this program, you want to highlight everything up here when you're in the folder. And then you want to type CMD, enter. And you'll get the command prompt up for this folder already. Uh, that way we can just press Control V and it's going to add this in. I just want to double check that everything is like it should be and it looks good so we're going to press enter. You see up here it's switched uh, to, the, to, to the, uh, uh, file and, and you know the thing that we just ran. Um, it's also created a couple of files here, it's created a log file and a python file. Now to do this DDS and, D, uh, and, and use this program you need the DSF tool in here. You can get that from the uh, from just searching explain DSF tool or uh, explain uh, uh, scenery tools or something like that and uh, you should be able to download these qu quite easily and because we're going to be doing DDS files uh, we need to have the DDS tool in here as well now for, uh, for actually getting the source that we need to download we need to look at our INI file in here and we need to count down so we can see this is a first server so that's server 1, and we have 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and then server 12 is the one that we're going to be using. Now, we're going to be using the USGS 1 uh, foot ortho, uh, so that's pretty much 19, uh, I'll assume level 19. Now, to check, uh, you, want, you want to make sure that, you're, uh, that the area that you're creating actually has ortho imagery. So for that, you can go on uh, this website, uh, link it in the description, and you can see the entire US here uh, and where it has auto photos. Uh, so you can see it's not uh, the entire of the US, it's only a little bit of Alaska, uh, and it's uh, mostly the East Coast and then uh, along the borders. But um, if we zoom in exactly where our uh, airport is, which is up here, CQ and then we can uh, enable it again and uh, we should be able to see that the autofocus for this area is uh, quite good quality uh, it's fairly good uh, color correction uh, it's not need to do any uh, kind of post processing by the looks of things now there are some really uh, not so great areas where uh, the autofocus can look really bad um, a good example of that is in Wisconsin I know We'll enable the author photos again, and uh, hopefully we should be able to see um, a lot of these areas. They have some really bad coloring, and uh, and it's going to be difficult to actually get some some useful uh, stuff out of it. So we'll just zoom in uh, quite far here, and um, and and I've tried to do this in one area, and it looks really bad. This looks like it's taken during uh, fall um, or autumn. And the colors aren't too bad on this one, uh, but you can really get some areas that look absolutely terrible. So you want to make sure that where you're creating your airport, uh, you actually have some good uh, imagery before you start creating it. Because otherwise you'll uh, have wasted some time uh, unless you want to release it without the author photos anyways. Alright, so, um, so of course we're going to be using uh, number 12, which was the USGS one author. Uh, or one foot auto. So all we do is we type in 12, hit enter, and it looks like nothing happens now. But if we go in here, we can see it's created an earth nav data and a train folder. If we go into the train folder, you can see it's beginning to download the images. Now I've already done this, so I won't uh, keep on downloading them. I've got them in a different folder. Uh, so we'll just close that down and it'll stop downloading them. Um, but this is, a, this is a really good uh, way to get um, some some good uh, author photos into your scenery. Now the thing about this USGS one foot author is that you can use this however you want so you can release payware um, sceneries and have this created and you don't have to get any license or anything like that and um, so that's that's kind of why this is uh, one of the most used uh, um, providers for uh, payware scenery.
Alright, well I'm going to jump into World Editor and I'm going to show you guys how to uh, how to get these author photos showing up in uh, World Editor. Alright, so I've launched World Editor here and we're going to find uh, the scenery package that we downloaded all the authors in so we can quickly open that. See in here we got uh, all of the files in the train. Um, so we'll open that uh, and we'll try and zoom in generally on where the airport's going to be, it's going to be around here somewhere. Um, and then what we want to do is we're going to come up to file, and we're going to go uh, import DSF. We're then going to go and find the uh, airport that we're creating. We go to earthnav data, and the coordinates, and then we're going to get that DSF file and import it. Now this is going to take a bit of time, but when it imports, we'll be able to see the author photos, so I'll be back when it's loaded that up. Alright, it looks like all the author photos have uh, been loaded in. That took about four minutes, I'd say. Um, so I'm just going to quickly lock all of them. And I'm going to uh, quickly save, so uh, you don't have to import the DSF file again. And we can see now we have all the author photos in here like they should be. This is pretty cool. We can now find the airport. You can see the airport here. Looks like they've got some new tarmac uh, being made on these photos. And uh, we've also got the prison here where there's a helipad that's going to be modeled in the scenery. So we'll uh, we'll come back to that. And uh, yeah. So I hope this uh, video has uh, helped you guys to get some author photos in your scenery pack. And uh, hopefully we'll see some awesome sceneries with that. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. I'm happy to help anyone out. And if you have any kind of more advanced questions, always ask on the Scenery Pack um, uh, forums. I'll also leave that down below. There's a lot of really nice people on there that are happy to help out. And uh, you can ask even payware developers and they'll uh, usually ask or answer uh, most questions that you have. So um, until the next video, guys, take care.